Hello and welcome to the Oracle Apex Tutorial 6 Web Services Part 2 Training Video Exercise brought to you by MS Consulting. On the screen is a brief list of assumptions and requirements for this tutorial as well as the location of a full article with more information. This part of the tutorial focuses on creating the end reports and the items associated with it. We will be picking up right at the end of the previous part so if you are not there you need to be on the application main page like we are here. We're going to click create page and we're going to create a blank page and click next. The page number is OK. We're going to give it a name of find movies and the title is find movies also. We do not need to use tabs and we'll just confirm making this page here and we'll make it. Now we're going to go to edit page and we're going to create a region we'll click our create button here and we're going to create an HTML region a basic HTML container its title is going to be movie information everything else is okay here we so we can just go ahead and create it Now we're going to have to create a single button and two items to make this work. So we're going to create the button first. And the region is correct, the movie information region. We're going to create a button in a region position. The button name is going to be SUBMIT in all capitals. And then you can just click anywhere else in a light blue area and it'll automatically copy the name down to the, to the label. We'll click next. Its button template is OK. Its display properties, we're going to change its position. And its position is going to be region template position create, which we'll select there and click next. And then we're going to select its branching options. We're going to have it branch to find movies and we'll click create and now the button's created now we have to create two items what these items are going to do is they are going to actually be the items that pass whatever information we give the web page they will pass that information to the web service that we created in the previous tutorial so we're going to create a text item and click next it's going to be a normal text field now rather than use the naming conventions we've used in previous tutorials, we have to name this item the same way that it is named in the web service reference, in this case ZIP, in all capitals. And we'll click Next, and everything in the item attributes is OK. We're just going to change the label to say ZIP code. and then we'll click next and the source is all okay so we'll click say create item now we need to create one more item this time for the radius to search so we're going to create another text item it's going to be a text field its name is going to be RADIUS in all caps because again this has to be the same name as what the web service reference is looking for for information we'll click next and the label is OK at this time we don't have to make any changes so we'll click next and source data is all OK so now the item has been created now that we've created the button and the items, what we need to do is we actually need to create a process that will actually perform the calling of the function. So we'll click Create next to our processes, and we're going to be creating a web services process. Click Next, and we're going to give it a name 
of call movie info. The other information is OK. The process we're going to select our web service reference of movie info and click next. And here we're going to give it a brief success message and a failure message. And we'll click next and we just need to say when the submit button is pressed and we'll click create. Now we're almost done. I'm going to go over to Regions. I'm going to create one last region. This time it's going to be a report region. Click Next. And it's going to be a report on collection containing web service result. Click Next. We'll give it a title of search results. And everything else is OK here. We'll click Next. Its source is going to be a manually created web reference type. And we're going to select our service, which is Movie Info. The SOAP style and message format are fine. The result node path, or XPath, is one of the things we get from running the web services test in the previous tutorial. We're going to paste that information into there as well as the message namespace. We've already provided these two pieces of information in the full article. We'll click Next. Under the report parameters, you just have to enter in the parameter names. These are available in the full article, but these are also pieces of information which we receive by going through the test results which we ran in part one of this tutorial. Once we get those in, we then click Create Report. And that creates everything we need to create. Now we're going to click Run Page. It'll ask us for a zip code and a radius. So we'll feed it that. And as you can see, it spits back movie times and movie titles. You'll notice it does spit back information for movies that either are no longer out or haven't even been released yet, but the basics of the tutorial are sound. We hope you found this tutorial useful, and we do look forward to seeing you again in the future.